In this video, I'll go over the Flamingo Go Room and how I got an upgrade without paying full price. The Flamingo Hotel isn't the nicest hotel on the Strip, but it offers great value. It's located in the middle of the Strip so you can walk to the Bellagio Fountains, or the Cosmo, or check out the Mirage's Volcano with a little bit of walk. They also have real flamingos, a koi pond, and a pretty nice pool. Sure, it's not going to be nice as the Wynn or the Aria, but you are paying a fraction of the price. Like right now, Wynn rooms are going for 156, versus Flamingo is going for 29. I mean, unless you plan to spend a lot of time in your room or you have a lot of money to burn, I think Flamingo is a go. Let me go over how I got the room upgrade for $20. You want to first book the room online. If you're not a Total Rewards member, sign up for one so you can get a discount on the room rate. You see? My room just went from $29 to $23. That's a 20% savings. Go ahead and book the cheapest not so fabulous fab room. I really wanted the remodeled go room, but for now, just book the cheapest room. Now, when you check in, don't use the automated kiosk, which is pretty cool by the way, but line up for a human to help you. When you're in line, look for a worker that looks like they'll do you a favor. I waited on the side pretending to be busy on my smartphone and when the worker I liked was open, I went in. Just checking in. Okay, perfect. Nice a picture ID here and a credit card, please. Yes. You basically want to hand the worker your credit card, your ID, and a $20 bill. Also know exactly which room you want to upgrade to. Most workers will say something like they'll give you a higher room with a better view, but that's not really an upgrade. Okay. Here we are. I'm gonna stay here. I am gonna upgrade you here to the fully upgrade room type here. I'll be King Bitman Smoke, is that correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, would it be the go room or? I have it for Oh, that's awesome. Okay, thank you so much. And then you have a better view here as well, okay? Awesome. Um, here we are. Great. The lobby elevator. Yeah. Right behind Total Rewards, we have all five numbers will be on your door. Okay? Okay, thank you so much. Hey, thank you, sir. Enjoy yep. your stay, guys. Yeah, will do. Thank you. And now, here is the go room with the high roller view. Let me show you around first, and then I'll make comments on what I liked and what I didn't like. was great, especially for $23 a night. The vibrant colors, room was clean, the bed was comfortable with four pillows with different firmness, it came with all the necessities like a coffee maker, a small fridge, a big mirror, decent sized TV, a DVD player, and surprisingly, electronic shears and drapes which are really cool to use when you wake up at noon. And some minor details like the barn door for the bathroom, and this cool remote holder, a TV mounted into the mirror, this modern sink, basic alarm clock, nice lamps, plenty of outlets, light a mirror right above the bed. I don't know why they have that there, if you know what I mean. Okay, so here are some things that you might not like about the Flamingo. No security at the elevators like some other higher-end hotels making it less safe. Be aware of your surroundings when you're going into your room and make sure to use your deadbolt when you're in your room. Oh, and make use of your safe. For the bathroom, water pressure wasn't as strong as some other hotels I've stayed at, but they have these side things to wash your belly button. Also, no bathtub, but the shower was big enough for two people, if you know what I mean. I do see the signs of the casino's wear and tear. I mean, they've been around since 1945. There was a pretty big gap under my door that kept bringing in smoke and noise from the hallway. I learned to put pillows here to block the breeze. I'm a bit sensitive to sound and I could hear my neighbor's TV, but I had no problem sleeping with the sound machine app. The internet here was unreliable. You are supposed to have 5 megabits per second with your resort fee, but I was having technical issues and it kept taking me back to the login page over and over. 
and when I checked out, I saw that they were charging me $10 for each time I logged in. I eventually gave up and ended up using the coffee shop nearby to work. I have to say, Caesar's support was beyond excellent in helping me with the billing issue. That all said, I think Flamingo is a great value and I would still recommend it. The location and value is just gold. I love being able to go outside to the middle of the strip within 3 minutes of leaving my room. If this was helpful, you don't have to subscribe, but please hit the thumbs up button or leave a comment, which will make me happy. Thank you.